even after the resurrection, Jesus tried uh, to conduct himself as normal as possible with few, no signs of miracles. I remember the first words uh, at the tomb, the angel, do not be afraid, encouraging the uh, ladies and disciples not to be afraid of Jesus. And Mary Magdalene herself, um, anxious looking around the garden, um, saw this uh, man, thinking probably he was the um, manager, that she, she, she addressed him uh, as the gardener and was shocked to discover it was our Lord himself. Again, we, we find him almost uh, insignificant on his way to a mass, the disciples not recognizing him. Also later on, seven of the disciples decided, um, you know, to take furlough, uh, as it were, and go fishing. And Jesus on the uh, beach, on the, you know, ex they weren't doing too well with the fishing. He saw to them, try the other side, and they were overwhelmed with the catch. But then Jesus tried his hand as a chef, cooking them their breakfast. But it, it, it was um, uh, also, of course, remember, when Jesus appeared to Thomas, we've all had the experience of somebody coming home from hospital saying, would you like to see my scars, my cuts, my wounds? In a way, Jesus was a bit like that with Thomas, you know, look, here are my scars. Believe, believe. But it was especially towards Peter that Jesus displayed his utmost love. The heart of the gospel can seem in that short episode with Peter, do you love me? Jesus, overwhelmed of course with remorse, he'd been through a very, the darkest hour, but Jesus did not rebuke him. Jesus displayed the heart of the gospel, love and forgiveness, forgiveness and love. And it was of course at the last supper, Jesus laid down this uh, fundamental truth, love one another as I have loved you. If you love me, keep my commandments, and my Father will love you. We will come to you. How can we live up to those high standards uh, that Jesus set us? The Holy Spirit. The Father will send the Helper, the Holy Spirit. He will show you the way forward. May this Holy Spirit continue to show us the way forward, the way forward of love and forgiveness. It's the blessings to you all not forgetting those still suffering from recent events.